Abowen. I am Grace Alana Sixteen, a Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management student from Northwestern University. And today, me and my groupmates will turn you around the beautiful town of Calamba, Laguna. Graphic location of Calamba City is bordered by Cabuyol City to the north, Las Banyas to the east, with the province of Batangas to the south. Specifically, the municipality of Santo Tomas, Tanawan City, and Talisay, and by the province of Cavite to the west, with Tagaytay City and Sea. Laguna de Bay, the country's largest lake, forms the city's northwest border. The provincial capital. Santa Cruz is located 45 kilometers by the road to this. Kalamba covers the total land area of 13,950 hectares, 36,900 acres, making it to the second largest city in province in terms of land area after San Pablo City. As of 2010, Kalamba City has a total population of 389,377. Rizal Monument, only the death of each Calambeo's devotion preserving the memory of our greatest Kababayan, for the world to see and the future generation to treasure, the grandeur of this monument.
giant clay pot banga. According to early settlers, the city name came from the Waikalan and Banga, which mean clay stone and clay pot respectively. Pottery has become a source of income for many towns. People thanks to the high-quality clay found around the lakefront. The city official symbol is now a clay pot. Mount McKinley Reserve serves the interest adventurous people who like mountain, climbing, bird watching, nature gazing, and camping. Mount McKinley with its foot resting on the side of the city is the best venue for such gratification. Just a part. 
part of Tabuco now known as Cabuyao. On August 28, 1742, Calamba became a pueblo separating it from Cabuyao. Progress set in and since then, development started to flood in continuously. Calamba became a component city on April 21, 2001 by virtue of Republic Act 9024. According to a legend, the word Kalamba was taken from the word Kalanbanga. Kalanbanga was an earthen jar carried by a young woman whom a guard of civil stopped and asked what is the name of the place. Mistakenly thinking that she was asked what he is holding, then she answered Kalanbanga. Later on, Kalanbanga was shortened to Kalamba. Lutong Pilipino ni Aling Eli back in 1993. Lutong Pilipino ni Aling Eli bigani na kubo or ni pahat, serving their humble lechon and chicharon. They are the first to offer lechon in Kalamba. Today, this Filipino restaurant serves what locals and tourists hail as the best lechon in town. Its facade look like a typical carinderia, serving a wide variety of Filipino cuisine. Without a doubt, you will feel at home as you eat a platter of their incredibly delicious lechon. Mami's Garden Cafe decorated with plants and trees. Mami's Garden Cafe is a favorite among titas and mommies that are looking for a place to breathe and relax. Known for its natural setting, serene ambience, yummy food, and accommodating staff. This one-of-a-kind garden cafe is a perfect spot to enjoy Filipino delicacies such as biko and halo-halo while listening to the calming sounds of nature.
Aviles, the original Bulalo since 1965. Aviles restaurant has been serving all-time favorite Filipino cuisines at a reasonable price. Their most sought after dish, Bulalo, is a famous for its fall off the bone meat and rich broth. The said dish paved the way for the restaurant to be well recognized locally. It also gained popularity from patrons and food aficionados. That's all for today. We appreciate and thank everyone of you who invested your time to be with us today. We wish you a very great and safe day. Until next time, bye!